Today, we celebrate the inauguration of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. It marks the commencement of their four-year term and a peaceful transition of power. Two weeks ago, during the Capitol riots at the same location for the inauguration, the nation's capital, we witnessed vandalism and destruction of property, violence against law enforcement, riots and insurrection. I submit to you today that we have an opportunity for a daily inauguration that begins on our knees in prayer to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in giving a peaceful transition of power to the Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide in our hearts. Knowing men and women are fickle and change their policy positions, we're grateful that we serve the God who shows no bias and is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Instead of reciting the oath of office, we recite the power of the gospel. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Instead of singing, Hail to the chief, we sing, all hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall, bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Instead of stating the pledge of allegiance, we declare and decree that every man, woman, boy and girl is created in the image and likeness of God. Although we celebrate today's event, let's make sure our daily inauguration becomes a fervent encounter with God under the unction of the Holy Spirit. We see the need, O oh God, for a daily inauguration in seeking your face in prayer, fervent prayer, under the unction and power of the Holy Spirit to seek a peaceful transition where we die to self and live for you, O oh God, in the worthy and matchless name of Jesus we pray. Amen.